Hey all and welcome in today. Today you're joined by me Daniel as we delve into painting this image here, this uh, otter. Um, so this is a colourful image I'm doing today. It's a interesting style. Um, I previously did two styles before this. I did a Simpsons flat style of this otter and then I did a Pixar version of this otter um, and now I've delved into painting um, this otter again and in a third style in a colorful style as you can see on the right hand that image there it is an interesting style it still looks um, realistic and um, you know, textural, it makes sense, um, but it looks like a, you know, a real kind of frog kind of an image, but, um, and all, also, you know, well um, lit, and also has the its tones correct and everything like that. The only thing, it is really colourful, these are not realistic colours, um, but it still feels like real, like maybe that this frog um, dipped itself in paint kind of a thing. That's what it could feel like. Um, but it makes an interesting style and an interesting um, looking piece in the end. Um, so I decided I'll do this style and, and, and try it. It's something um, that's quite interesting. It's still kind of, you know, it it, it kind of um, implies that whole thing where it doesn't matter what color you use, as long as the tones are correct, it doesn't really matter. It, it, it puts that into perspective. Um, so it's really helpful with that, getting your know, tones right and everything. Um, and, you know, I feel like there are things I did achieve well in this painting and things that I still have to work on. I think starting out here was a really good place at this point, like it was looking alright here. <laughs> and then I think I slowly just, you know, kind of made things a little bit worse from here, I guess. Um... I mean, you know, it's it's like that sometimes with some paintings and drawings. It's like, you know, you don't want to work on them more because you're just going to ruin it kind of a thing. Um, and I think, for me, I think that's kind of what happened. Um, and that's just the thing is sometimes going too far away from what you originally started with kind of a thing. Um, if that makes sense. See, I... I, I I bring in this kind of curve in here, which makes them look a little bit kind of grumpy, a little bit angry, um, a little bit too much. So I think that's where I went wrong, and I didn't see it at the time. I was just painting along, trying to get this done within 90 minutes, and just trying to get like the tone and the fur texture right, and that kind of thing. Um, but I think... Um, I got too carried away with, you know, changing the colors, making the colors look good, that um, some of those other aspects like, you know, the texture, the fur, the, um, the total study of it um, went to one side. Um, you know, that's what I feel. Um, so yeah, it is very important um, to get that right, to get that tonal right. I think maybe I could have done like a 90 minute, 90 minute, I could have done a grey version of this first um, before delving into any colour. Um, I think that would have helped me, even though, you know, it's it feels like it would cut into that time, you know, because it takes like, um, 20 30 minutes to do a tonal study, um, ish 
depends. I can I can do a tonal a ninety minute tonal study. Um, you know, but if I really wanted to, I could have done a twenty minute tonal say. I think that would have really helped to then go into color, but I just felt that um, you know, it's got so many different colors, and and I wanted I was just so eager to play around with this whole color feel and um you know the, the that rainbow kind of effect um that yeah i i didn't really focus too much or i didn't i put it to one side the most important parts um it's unfortunate it, it happened within this 90 minute art challenge um but yeah that has again showed me you know the the importance of um tones and and you know that kind of thing first the importance of it um because without it you know you just it doesn't really feel real um you know you also need a really good drawing um i think by this stage the third drawing in i'm starting to have kind of a, a really good foundational drawing for this otter um you know, my other two otters were pretty good, and this drawing wasn't the the worst, but it wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, it it, it was a alright drawing. Um, there are aspects looking at it like that. I am like, uh, you know, it could have been better. But I mean, you've got to learn from it. I mean, these challenges, these ninety minute things, aren't. Um, the end all be all, they aren't going in my portfolio, apart from YouTube, they're not a thing that I'm going to show everyone and, um, yeah, share with everyone, I don't really put this on social medias, apart from YouTube, um, they are a learning curve, they are something to help me out, they're an exercise that I do once a week that gets me out of just painting the same thing for like a couple of weeks you know it, it gets me out of that rut um so it's always good i i really enjoy just you know either wednesday or thursday or something like that it just takes one one night usually um sometimes i can get it done and still have time to paint what i was working on um but usually i've only got time really to do this 90 minute art challenge um, it depends on how things go, and sometimes I do it in one sitting, uh, you know, just sit down and, and keep painting for 90 minutes. Other times, you know, I might do 5 or 10 minutes at lunch of it, and then do like 10, 15 minutes before dinner or something, then, you know, have dinner and, and night time. Um, finish the rest of it off. It all depends on, you know, how, how things play out. Um, uh, but most of the time, yeah, I do try and just get it done within one sitting. Um, and, you know, there's positive and negatives with both of them. You know, if you stop and start, um, that gives you that little bit of time to think as well. You know, what's going wrong, what's going right, how can I keep going and fix this up? It does give you that, right? So it can give you kind of, if you were to say, you know, it has to be a 90 minute art challenge. Can you give you that little bit of a cheat, you know, that, um, yeah. Um, but in the other side of things, um, getting it all done at one time, um, gets it out of the way, it gets you kind of a quick thinking skill where, you know, you have to, you've got 90 minutes here, you've got to really push it and try to, get things underway within those 90 minutes, you don't have any other time to do it, you know, um, yeah, and it just choose it out of the way, um, it keeps you painting, you know, if I focus in and actually do this for 90 minutes, um, rather than stop and start, I actually focus in and, and I work on it better, so, there's, there's bonuses to both of those methods, uh, but they both work, so, you know, um, yeah. Hopefully, you've enjoyed creating <laughs> with me, hopefully. Um, you've enjoyed seeing this video. Um, this has been the Otter Series. 
Um, so go check out those other videos. Keep creating, keep drawing, and we'll see you in the next video.